I know that they have a love for this building, and um, as do I. I'm just, I'm excited to see them just continue to carry out their vision. Um, my name is Wendy Dalrymple, and uh, my husband Stuart actually bought the building in the mid-1990s. We bought the building originally just as an investment property. I mean, we did not have any plans of turning it into an event center, and we were going to um, turn it into uh, like a downtown boutique type shopping mall. But um, when we got the plans back and we got the cost, we <laughs> decided that that probably wasn't a feasible project. So um, we put those plans on the shelf and just decided that we'd let the tenant stay here until we you know, came up with another direction. My husband and I received a phone call from Kara Patterson and Nancy Hatfield, um, two ladies in the community that their families have been here for a long time. And I got a phone call to said, hey, we'd like to meet with you about a project. Okay, sure. So had no idea what their plans were. Um, we met with them and they said, we would love to see that space downtown turned into an event center. We sat and listened to them and um, then we kind of went on about our business. Well, I just kind of got to thinking about the possibility of actually turning this space into an events venue. And so I began to talk to my husband about the possibility of executing that plan. And he thought I was crazy, but you know, the more we talked about it, I, I just was convinced that this was something that we could do. So we just dove in and, and decided to, to pull it off. And thanks to Ms. Patterson and Ms. Hatfield, uh, Robin Sanford's here today. The upstairs of the building had, had basically just been left untouched for, we're not really sure how long. When we went up there, there was just, there was furniture, there was clothes, um, there was just all kinds of cool things. But probably the coolest thing um, are these books that we found. And these are actual uh, journal books from Robin Sanford. Um, and they date back, I think this one is in 1902 or 1903, and it's labeled number one. And I have them all the way through 32. They're in fabulous shape. Um, fortunately, there are, are no leaks upstairs, and so they are just, they're beautiful, uh, just really pieces of art. This actually has uh, corduroy like fabric on the front of it, and they're all leather bound books. And I've actually I was going through the books and found my great-grandfather's name and here he had an account with Robin Sanford so I was able to see some of his transactions so that was really cool. Um, what I'd like to see happen with Robin Sanford um, in the future is really just Matt and Shelley continuing to do what they're doing. Um, I know that they have a love for this building and um, as do I and I'm just I'm so excited to see the, their new offices upstairs and um, how they're just bringing life um, to downtown and continuing to run the, the Robin Sanford as an events venue. Um, the community loves it and um, they're very supportive of the efforts here and so I'm just I'm excited to see them just continue to carry out their vision. So we have successfully taken care of the structural wooden beam with the termite damage and now the crew is building a staircase to get us access to the top level and there we're going to start the real renovation process. Uh, first order of business is to lift up the 108 year old wood slat floors. We're going to take real good care of those because we're planning on using them on walls and ceilings so it's about to get exciting. <laughs> 